Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Matt, and every Tuesday from now on I'm going to play a little bit of games. Sometimes it's going to be something new, sometimes it'll be something that I'm more familiar with. Today I've chosen War Selection. It was a recommendation by Martin on the podcast. Uh, and this is not my first attempt at doing this video. I originally was going to do a first look video where I've never seen it before, and it was predictably, predictably awful. Uh... And I would have posted that. I had no problem posting a ga gameplay that was just really bad, but the audio was all messed up. So I'm hoping that if like the fourth time is the charm, if it's not, I'm done for the day. This is this is the last chance that War Selection has for me. If the editing goes smoothly, you'll get to see it. If not, you won't get to see it. So let's go ahead and uh, jump over to Steam here. And uh, hit play. This is War Selection. It's a civilization esque kind of game. Um, I'm trying to make sure that the audio works well, so. Uh, the good news is I've got it in multiple sources, so I'm hoping that I can go through and edit it and make my voice louder, the music on the game softer. Um, anyways. So let's go ahead and play for a little while. Maybe 20 minutes or so. Now, one thing about, I've learned about this is that it doesn't have a save. It's just, you know, you uh, start over every time you play. So we'll see how long this keeps me waiting. Last, it, I've, The load time on the game itself is very impressive. As you saw, it just started right up just like that. But the match time, the matchmaking time, is uh, uh it's a little long if you're just playing random people the free fall free, free for all I, i've waited up to three minutes earlier today so that's a little long let's see how long it takes this time I guess I could talk a little bit about what I thought about this game earlier. Um, if you just get into this game, it's without looking at anything on YouTube, you'll uh, be very confused because <laughs> there's no tutorial. There's nothing in terms of hey, you should do this. This is how you do that, and it's very confusing. If especially if you're not a big gamer, like I, I'm not a big gamer, so it's just uh, it was like I said, it was very confusing. It took me. It took me actually getting in the chat against my opponents and asking them, hey, how do you play the game? <laughs> it's not necessarily the best way to learn, but it worked. It, you know, I learned more, I guess, that way than I guess it w would have normally. Because so, I didn't look at anything on YouTube. I just jumped right in. Uh, hopefully I do better this time, seeing as I've already done this once today. Like I said, the matchmaking time is the, probably the longest part. And the, I played for, once I learned how the basic mechanics worked, uh, I played for about 50 minutes. I never got into a battle like they're showing now. I had one battle. I don't know if that's because the people I was playing against weren't all that good either, or what, well, I'm not sure. We'll see if I can, hopefully I can get a little bit more action this time. I want some Michael Bay explosion stuff. I don't see any explosions here, but that'd be nice. Some explosions and bombs. I'm th I think I'm probably in the wrong game. We're at two and a half minutes. This is fascinating. I might cut some of this out. I don't know. When it made me wait for three minutes earlier today, I threatened to go to a different game. So maybe if I threatened to go to City Skylines, it will take me into game. Oh, see? All I had to do was threaten. And I'm there. Okay. We're playing. Now, this is where you start. One thing you'll notice is that you only have certain views. 
you can go forward and backwards and side to side and you can zoom in and out you can't rotate in any way now you click on this and you create a couple workers now I made the mistake earlier of just you know, smashing the worker button over and over again I had like 20 workers and that sounds like a great idea because things get built really fast but you also run out of resources so at the beginning your resources will be, you know, build up and build up and build up they'll just do this automatically but after a while they stop collecting things automatically and you gotta do that stuff yourself that's uh, something I didn't realize so I ran out of food and then once I got the food going you know after a while I'm figuring that out and I ran out of wood and there's nothing worse than being you know running out of wood so anyways let's build a hut now the huts the hut will uh, increase your population density which you can do now let's see worker and you right click on that and he goes and builds that okay and we want to build warehouse Gotta wait for a worker. He's gonna go right over there and do that automatically. Sometimes they don't do it automatically, which is, it's weird that sometimes some of the stuff is automatic and some of it's not. All right, so we, and then we can build. Oh, we already did, we already did that. We do a fight pit, do that over here. See, he didn't do it this, he didn't automatically do it this time. Because we have more than one, we can go over here and have both of those work on that. We already did a fight pit and then a stone cutter and we'll put that there. You can go ahead and build another worker. We'll, we also want a scout. The, the scout will go through and remove this gray space as, he, as the name implies. Okay. And then uh, we got a new one here. No. Oh, we can't build that yet. The grayed out ones we can't build. That's because we're over here. And create ourselves a warrior and do leather shoes here. And we want to do uh, berry comb and fire ropes. And fur shoes. You do the building, let the buildings do their upgrades, and then you can build more things, and then you'll be able to upgrade the buildings up along here, along the side. Oh, let's see here. Already built. Oh, now we can build the bulwark. Okay. Now, I think this is a, stat, a static city defense, so we want to put that here. And... Put a couple workers on it. I think. That's a worker. Does that mean we're still working on the scout? Oops, it canceled the scout. Oops, that's okay. I'm gonna build another one of these, like over here. Redo that scout guy. Because we need to explore some more lands. Oh shit. Somebody was trying to cut through my lands. That was the most action I've seen all day. Alright.
Alright. There's still... They're, the problem is there's just no way of knowing, you know, what you need to do. So I want to build another one of these over here. That way we got a good, a good radius of defenses. Did we finally get a, a scout? We did get a scout. He can go over here. And look at that, we have some more land. That also gives us access to some more wood and some animals here eventually. Pretty soon we will have enough to... We need to get the hut to... Oh, we need four hut sets, right? And four huts. And some workers. Need another worker here. We don't want to do too many because otherwise they take that resources, right? Where? The... Once that's done, we can build a temple, which is good. Oh, let's see here. I really wish they were always automatic like this. I'm, I'm wondering if it, it's possible. <coughs> excuse me. It's possible that earlier I played, I pressed something and they stopped. That's one thing that might have happened. Although maybe they'll stay automatic. That'd be cool. All right, temple time. Once that's done, we should be able to see some more stuff to build. We can create ourselves a couple more warriors. Don't want to overdo it. I want to create another one of these here. Definitely doing better this time than I was last time. When I finally learned how to do do the defenses the last time, I put them all in one spot. It was horrible. Now, granted, I didn't get attacked a lot because boring. But I need Michael Bay to spruce stuff up. So explosions. In a way, this is better than Civilization because it's not turn based. So, but. Or at least the civilization of old. I haven't played civilization in ages. Alright, almost there. Alright, he went he went off. You know, I wonder if it's proximity if to uh whether or not they go automatically to the next building. That would make sense, I guess. Alright, so we want to choose... Um, interest. Okay. Before, it had me choose if I wanted to do Europe or... So you need 20 workers in order to do some of this stuff. Huh. So... They don't want you to be as cautious as I was thinking. Oh, we're gonna getting attacked. I'll build another one of these over here. I'm assuming that if your temple goes down, you lose the game. I'm not exactly sure what constitutes a loss. You know what I mean? 
the thing about the game is there's like there's no tutorial, so you don't know what what constitutes a game, what doesn't constitute a game. All right, what we want to do here is we need some more workers. And I don't really need more workers, but in order to do anything with the temple, you have to have 20, apparently. So a lot of those dudes are just going to be standing around, because you have to point them at things. Alright, what we can do is go find our scout here. He's just standing around doing nothing. What's fascinating is, unless you build a, a building somewhere he's scouted, it's still not, you know, bright light in the places he's explored, but it's not completely gone like it is over here. We're under attack. Might as well build another one of these. Oh, we got some. I need some more workers. How many workers? It would be interesting. It doesn't really tell you. A good way to tell you how many um, see these buttons over here it doesn't tell you anything what they are okay so the, here we're gonna tell you we're, work units but I didn't tell you actually how many workers you have. So there's only one person here playing with me. He's attacked me like twice. Where the hell is he? He has to be. So we got a scout over here. Uh, let's come scout over here, money. Might as well. Oh, okay. We're getting attacked again. He's attacking us again. Do some more workers because I don't think we're there yet. Nope. Not yet. Let me do a few more. I have to be getting close. I need one over here. I wish it didn't jump you to the idle workers, it just let you select them. That'd be really nice. As you can see, my meat is going down quite a bit here. Yeah, it just keeps going down and down. Hey. We have to get close to 20 workers. How far are we? Oh, we can. Okay, here we go. Let's see, this is different than it was before. Oh, no, no, it's not. I'm dumb. We're going to do AJ again. That worked. That was fun last time. I'm not sure what the difference is, though. I'll have to play it some more to figure out what the difference is between Europe and Asia. You can choose two paths for your civilization, I guess, between Europe and Asia. Um, and we have some more stuff here, I think. 
No, we don't have more stuff here. Oh, we gotta wait for that to finish. Good. All right. Well, we might as well do one of these because the bad part about it is that they go, these go away. Is this this is at uh, seventy percent. Find out where my scout dude is. Scout dude's still down here. All right, scout man, why aren't you go over there? Go, go, go scouting. All right, warriors. Where you at? This guy's doing some work, man. Hey, look at the warriors getting in on. They're going to kill a boar. And then leave the meat there to rot. Where's the workers? We need some workers. Ah. Alright, good. Put two of them on that and get us some more meat. Oh, and here we go. Now we got some more stuff. We got some up stuff to upgrade. Go through and upgrade all this stuff. The upgrade time is just... I wonder why they bother even having time at all if the upgrade is that quick. You know what I mean? Okay. We build some observing tower here. Oops. Okay, and another one over here. Okay, and we want a barracks because that's going to train some more troops, melee troops. Oh my. Hey, look at this stuff. We needed some more warriors. Probably too late now. We're gonna lose. Where are you going? You're running away from all the attacks. Ah, I'm losing. It's quite obvious that I wasn't expecting an attack. These things went from... Yep, I'm losing. Well, we're going to find out what happens when you lose. No, exit to menu. We officially lost. Okay. <laughs> so, moral of the story, train more troops. I got so worried about running out of resources that I didn't train enough troops. And then 
I put them in, I stationed them in the wrong place. Anyways, that was fun. It was much more fun than it was earlier this afternoon because I knew at least some of what I was doing. I'll probably play this game again. I know that there's some, you can play with a squad, you can do a private match with people you know. Um, so, I think I like that game. This, now, this is a, you know, it's just an interesting little game, I guess. Although, I'm curious as to when I get a tank. I just noticed this. There's a tank in this picture. Something here doesn't fit. Maybe there's an elephant, and then you get a tank. Um, I guess we'll have to play it a little bit longer and see when you get a tank. It's going to take you a while. Anyways, that is it for us this time. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in watching me play more games badly. And uh, we'll see you next time.